I just want to start this off with saying, uh, Dylan, Luna, I love you both. I'm going to be there to make coffee for you. I'm, I'm going to be there to make you breakfast. I won't forget. I'm, I'm nervous. I forgot. <laughs> Wrong. Those were the vows. Sorry, now it's my turn. Uh, <laughs> No, but I do love both of you guys, and I want you to know, uh, Dylan, I grew up with you. I'll never forget the one time you've never been more mad at me than when I introduced you as my half-brother. And uh, I really have felt bad about it forever, because you are my brother, and I love you. The fact that I said half-brother has made me feel like crap for a long time, but you're, you're my brother. And uh, thank God I have a sister now who's better than you. Uh, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm sitting here at the wedding. This is, remember when you gave me a Bud Light on Delaware? 12 pack at 16 years old. <laughs> uh, and I just, I want to say I'm so thankful that I can enjoy your single Bud Light with you and then this Bud Light is your last single Bud Light I'm gonna have to have with you. And uh, I just, I love you guys so much. Luna, you're too good for him. Uh, no, no. But I just wanna thank you guys. Luna, I'm not kidding, you're too good. Uh, no, but cheers to you guys. I hope you guys the best marriage. Uh, yeah. I've seen her become this beautiful, caring, loving, and strong woman. Um, we've been through a lot over the years. Um, from celebrating over our favorite holiday, which is Halloween, always matching our uh, costumes or going with the different things. <laughs> um, sharing family events, going to vacations, the heartbreaks, the graduations, the promotions, and even being roommates at different times of our lives. Um, one of those times when we were roommates, she was swiping through Tinder and landed on. <laughs> and landed on this white boy named Dylan. <laughs> so she, she landed on this white boy named Dylan. <laughs> She wasn't sure about the date, but after um, looking through his pics and bio a few times and asking for my opinion, she said yes to the date. After one of their first dates, I asked Luna, um, because I walked in on them talking, and I said, do you guys even laugh? If you know her, she's always ready to crack a joke or roast you. And she said, yeah, of course we do. So my next thing was, okay, but just don't move him in right away. <sighs> was I wrong? <laughs> I just didn't see it at that time. Fast forward six months, and the three of us were out having, you know, our meat third wheeling with them all the time. One of our nights, when Luna dropped the ball on me, if I was okay with Dylan, to, um, if he moved in. But here's the kicker. Luna had accepted a job overseas for a year, so it would only be just me and Dylan as roommates. <laughs> of course, by then, by then I got into 
to know Dylan a lot better, and he ha wasn't as vanilla as I initially thought. <laughs> Honestly, he was a good cook, so I said yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> During this time, he became my best friend. We watched shows together, which we still continue that tradition as even distance apart in our time difference also. Um, wait, I lost my part. <laughs> Um, he cooked, well, we cooked meals, but it was mainly him, and he would help me pick out outfits when I had a date or when I went out with friends because that's what Luna used to do um, when she was home. Throughout that whole year, I saw how the dances made their relationship stronger, and they didn't let that get in the way of how they showed love for each other and how much they cared for each other. I see how genuine their love is, how genuine their love is, and that makes me happy for my best friend, for my best friends now. Woo! Dylan, thank you for treating Luna like the beautiful woman that she is, for being the partner that she's always looked for. And I love you both. You're both are my friends, or not my friends, my best friends, <laughs> my very couple to third wheel with. <laughs> so, here, Woo! cheers to the couple. How about a round of applause one more time for Nancy and Nick? <laughs> All right, next to Toast, we have the best man, Charlie Saunier, and the maid of honor, Becca Luna. Come on, Becca. First, I want to congratulate both of y'all on today. I, mean, I think everybody here can agree, y'all are amazing people, and even more amazing as a couple. Second, I want to congratulate you, Luna, on marrying a winner like Dylan. Him being a Celtics fan and then asking you to marry him just shows he's, well, yeah, of course. Obviously has great taste, not just in basketball teams, but also in a wife. And after a couple of the stories we heard last night, I'd say the only two places where adjustment might be questionable would be in a choice of friends. <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, too. Which you and I know one is definitely worse than the other. <laughs> Everything aside, I'm so honored to be a part of y'all's special day. It's only been a couple years since I met Dylan at a recruiting for, for accounting firms. And he was instrumental in me getting the job at Right Out Bear. But ever since then, I've had the opportunity to get to know Buck well. And I can say confidently his character and integrity are unmatched and without a doubt, type of characteristics you would want for a husband. I know he would go to the end of to make you. I'm so happy for y'all and cannot wait to see what the future holds. So here's many more, many more game nights. Pool parties, love y'all, congratulations guys. younger sister, like way younger. I just want to thank everyone um, for coming to the biggest event of your lives. Um, also, you're welcome because the list was short and you made the cut. to come up with nice things to say about Jess that you guys haven't already heard. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. 
is she really set the bar extra high for us younger sisters? Um, for those that don't know Jess, uh, like I said, she's way older than me. Like, <laughs> um, so much older that <laughs> <laughs> that growing up together wasn't always easy. Uh, Jess, the bigger sister that she is, wouldn't ever let me go to places with her because I was too small, or she would say I was a snitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My whole life, Jess was... <laughs> yeah. She was more than an older sister. She was more of a second mom. Always on my ass. <laughs> but always being the voice of reason. <laughs> You're good. Guys, I never cry, okay? <laughs> and she's extremely patient. Um, she's the gentle soul. And if anyone knows, me, they know I'm the complete opposite, so you can imagine how difficult it was for me to have to deal with her. Um, <laughs> I can honestly say that a big part of who I am today is because I had just to look up to. But the day came when she did disappear. Um, she disappeared on me and she took off. She grew up and joined the army. <laughs> Sadly to say, the first couple of years I wouldn't see her um, too much and I was being busy being rebellious teen and she was getting shit done like growing up. Um, at this time, she was also dating weirdos I wasn't very fond of, so... <laughs> so... I know. <laughs> oh, so, going over to visit her here in San Antonio wasn't really always as fun. Um, it wasn't until she met Dylan that all of that changed. There's a particular trip that I'll never forget. I was having a... I was having a very difficult time in my life. And Jess, being the best big sister that she is, spontaneously bought me a plane ticket to Miami for a girl's trip. <laughs> <laughs> it was on that trip that I first learned about Dylan. At first I thought, eh, just another guy that was... <laughs> um, with nice muscles on Tinder. <laughs> First time we went out and Dylan dropped it low with me on the dance floor. <laughs> I knew he was the one for my sister. <laughs> well, there's also that one time that I threw up on their brand new rug and he cleaned it up. <laughs> That's when I knew he was my brother for life. <laughs> so welcome to the family, Theo Dylan. <laughs> Jess, I wrote this speech a hundred times over, and there's really no words to say to tell you how much I love you and how much you mean to me. You've been a great mentor, and I'm super proud and extremely lucky to call you my sister. As I know my grandma would say, que hermosa mi chesita. Okay, so now I'd like for everyone to raise their glasses and help me congratulate Mr. and Mrs. Sanders. Yeah. <laughs>